In February 2024, I launched one new startup and added two sources of revenue to my income. In total, I made 45,250 US dollar as a solo entrepreneur with zero employee. In this video, I am going to break down everything that I did this month and also why my revenue is down from 57,000 US dollar in January 2024. And finally, a new routine that I found that helped me produce a better and deeper quality work. Let's get started. I spent most of February working on Zenvoice, my new startup. Startup. It is a no-code tool for Stripe users to let their customers generate invoices themselves uh, without having to pay for the Stripe fee. I got this startup ID when I realized uh, I gave Stripe uh, 1,600 US dollar in 2023 to generate invoices for my own startups. It was a bitter feeling. Uh, the option was turned off by default, but I just didn't realize I turned it on. After that, I decided to turn off the option. And then my emails were flooded with customers asking for invoices, uh, mostly Europeans who need to have well-structured invoices with VAT. And so I had a new startup ID born. There was something painful and there was also a financial outcome. It would actually save me money uh, to build a startup, so I built it. And I wanted to do something different. I built it live on YouTube uh, with uh, you guys who came and joined the streaming. It was really fun to connect and also it uh, helped me be more productive. So I would have to show up every day and I cannot just go on Instagram and chin chill when I'm on YouTube. So uh, overall, it was really uh, fun to be doing this. Um, although the entire setup, um, you know, relying on uh, Bali internet connection, which sometimes drop off, uh, was a bit stressful, but it was overall a really fun experience that I'm probably gonna do uh, one more time this year. I spent about eight days building that startup live on YouTube. And once it was done, I launched it everywhere. Um, I actually shared a video of that launch day uh, in the channel, in my live videos, you'll see the day, probably nine is the day we launched it. I went on uh, Product Hunt, Twitter, Hacker News, uh, Reddit. Uh, I made little videos for that. And the product got somewhere around 4,000 visitors within the first 24 hours, which also got the first customers. To my surprise, it got the attention of some people like Guillermo Rauch, the CEO of Versal, a billion dollar company. I think he enjoyed the little notification pop-up that I created. This is absolutely crazy to me as I am just a little uh, internet maker uh, alone in my room and I get the attention of really famous people like this. It was just mind blowing. Also, Peter Levels, uh, one the most prolific indie makers out there, retweeted the launch um, and that kind of made my day and added a bunch of visitors as well. Overall, the launch was pretty successful. It made 2000 US dollar within the first week of launching. And I have some promising signs that uh, there is some potential for this startup because customers would email me that saying, oh, finally a solution for that. So it feels like I'm relieving a pain for some people which is a promising idea for the future. All right, now let's talk about my product bringing the most revenue, ShipFast. ShipFast is a boilerplate for programmers to ship startups faster. It made 39,000 US dollar this month, which is down from $49,000 back in January this year. It went down maybe because uh, it's been six months that I've been running the product. It has made almost 300,000 US dollar. And it might be fair to say that it has reached the the, the tech ecosystem and there is some kind of market saturation going on. Or uh, maybe it's just me uh, not spending enough time marketing it. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, but at this point it really doesn't matter because um, I receive messages from people who are actually shipping startups and making money online thanks to ShipFast and that really fires me up. I also added two new components to the boilerplate thanks to the launch of Zenvoice. Uh, there is now a new testimonial component as well as a with and without component. My four other startups had a steady revenue this month bringing about 3,000 US dollar. Um, I have no customer support whatsoever so this is some kind of true passive income if I may but this would not be possible if I didn't have an audience of 75,000 people on Twitter. Talking about Twitter, I made $250 in February from the creators earning revenue. Nothing crazy, but I'm just happy to have this little income, income stream. And also I did 5,000 new followers. And if you just joined Discover My Twitter, thank you. And finally, I added a new uh, stream of income to my revenue. It is YouTube. <laughs> I just got uh, 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, this is just mind blowing. I think my Twitter following helped a lot and my channel got monetized a few weeks back and I already made almost $50. 
uh, which compared to Twitter, it's pretty nice. And it's just so fun, like it's a new journey and I'm just so happy to keep going and making those videos. And this month I started to follow Brian Johnson's blueprint routine in order to improve my health. And this was a mistake. I bought a uh, sleep tracker in order to uh, calculate my sleep score by the end of the night. And I realized that this got me really anxious because I was getting obsessed getting the perfect sleep score, which ironically would keep me awake at night and make my sleep score worse. So I ditched the ring. I got back to my simple routine where I don't work past 6 p.m. Uh, my wife and I would go out of the house because that's where we work. At night, we would stretch, play games, uh, read books, whatever, uh, which is not work. And my overall uh, sleep would be really good. Actually, in the past five years or so, I have put sleep as my number one priority without tracking uh, the data. It literally changed my life. It made me much more motivated to work. Uh, it improved my creativity, made me um, better at handling stress and anxiety. This is by far what has impacted my life the most. If you can, take care of your sleep. All right, that's it for February. For the month of March, I expect pretty much all my revenue to go down <laughs> because I have a really big project that I want to focus on. Um, I expect it to be about three to six months of work, which is a little bit daunting. Uh, I'm a little bit stressed about it, but I think it is the right thing to do. And so I'm going to go uh, on holiday and disconnect a little bit from the internet and spend some time on that project. Um, I will also document everything I can on YouTube. So if you want to follow along, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you are looking for another video to watch, um, you can watch a day in my life as a solo entrepreneur living in Bali. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, you can like it. Cheers.